Welcome to our Levy Wand tutorial on the Illusion Hand, Float, Spiral, and Corkscrew. What's up, Flomies? Jesse Hart of Full Circle Phenomenal here. Welcome to the Sacred Flow Art Channel. Today, we're just outside of Cumbaya in Ecuador, and we were driving along in a taxi one time, and I saw this structure as we drove by, and I said, that looks tremendously like a Levy Wand, a giant Levy Wand. Not exactly sure what it is, but some sort of structure, artist structure, but there's no plaque or anything to label it. Today we're going to practice mastering all the basics. I'm going to let you know what the tricks are, how to do them, as well as how to master them. Be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell to be notified when we release more. Let's get started. First and foremost, we're going to want to know exactly how to reset the levy wand and how it sits once it's reset. Very important for beginner levy wand. The next is focusing on your reset hand as also your illusion hand, which is going to float over the top of it almost as if there was an invisible grapefruit over it. So while the tethered hand is moving the levy wand in a circle, the illusion hand is floating over the top of it. This basic trick is called the float, and you'll want to get really used to it and in both directions. Getting used to maybe a side stall switch or just resetting it with the reset hand and moving it in the opposite direction. When you're ready, we'll go and with the illusion hand, pretend like we're pushing it up and over our head into what's known as a spiral. Resetting it once it starts to go a little bit haywire. You can also gently touch the bottom end to the ground to release any excess energy from the wand and then continue on. Moving into the corkscrew where we're doing one beat in front of the body, one beat over the head in a continuous form, switching directions, using that illusion hand, and I'll show you here so that you can get a better idea of where the tether is in this, attached to the inside of my middle finger, with my illusion hand floating over the top of the levy wand, keeping it nice and straight. You really wanna take your time focusing on these basic of basics until the point where you can actually start to see it happening right in front of you in slow motion, giving you greater awareness and more control. Notice how your particular wet levy wand wants to move relative to your body. Keep your body in an upright position and make sure that you're breathing while you're practicing. Use your exhale to implement new tricks into your flow. Use your illusion hand to appear as if you are pushing and pulling on the levy wand, creating the effect of using the force like a Jedi. If you're in the right setting and wearing the right clothes, the audience won't be able to tell how you are moving the levy wand. Experiment moving your body, the levy wand, and the illusion hand in different ways in order to notice what feels right for you. In the next video coming, we'll show you how to master the stall switches in order to turn direction back and forth as many times as you like. Practice keeping the levy wand stable, moving these tricks in as many different ways as possible. For instance, a continuous spiral up and overhead, going around and around your head and then putting the illusion hand in with it in whatever way kind of feels good for you. Then the opposite direction, always moving it in both directions as well as with both hands. Since you're new, it is wise to not develop an overly dominant hand as we may go into using two levy wands in the future. Be sure to check out more of our videos here on the Sacred Flow Art channel and be sure to subscribe. This video was created by FullCirclePhenomenal.com. Check out our journey driving around the whole world by clicking on our YouTube channel link in the video description. Thanks so much for watching.